This is the Pro Wrestling Report, Primetime TV, the longest-running pro wrestling news program in the world, with your hosts, David Hero and Damian Nelson. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special edition of the Pro Wrestling Report, Primetime on a Wednesday, the night it is of Wednesday. NXT TakeOver The End. David Hero and I am Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Octavius Tiberius, your legend backyard, one-time, straight-edge, knockout, hardcore Hall of Famer hero. It. You've done it for years, and you still can't get it right. I'm trying to keep you on your toes, or toe. Really? <laughs> you know, it's a touchy subject. <laughs> Which little piggy went to market? That's what I want to know. And did any of them come home? One has not. Is that right? It's been lost. Lost in the field out there yes, somewhere? Yes. Fell into the gorilla cage? Yes. Folks, it's, uh, as we said tonight, NXT TakeOver The End. And it's a big main event, and it is Be The Booker for that show. And what we do in Be The Booker is Why this is guy. Why the end? That's what they've titled it. I think it's because it's the end of Balor Joe. Or is it the end of the NXT TakeOver brand? I doubt that. I think that they've built a pretty good brand there, and it'd this be silly. Not, well, a cage match is usually the big blow-off. Mm -hmm. Folks, let's talk about it match by match. David's got a fantasy book, and let's start, David, with the matchup for the Tag Team Championships of the World, Dash and Dawson versus Gable and Jordan. It's a dream Two match. Two solid athletic it, teams. It, it's almost like watching the Midnight Express against, the, against uh, Tully and Arn. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, in, in... What about the Midnight Express versus the Rock and Roll Express? Well, the Rock... No. Close? No, no tennis racket? No. More like Tully and Arn against the, against the Midnight Express. I mean, just two great, solid, fundamentally sound, technical teams. Yeah. That will go out there, and yes, they'll get the moves, but they will tell a story, and they will have great ring psychology. I don't think there's a better tag team on the planet than Dash and Dawson right now. On the planet? Yeah. In-ring abilities, you're I, talking. I think they are that good because they know how to cheat as heels, and uh, I, I love the stories that they tell. Who you got? Whew. Gable and Jordan, they've just been getting better every month. Yeah. Uh, the crowd's behind them. They're the fan favorite. They're extremely athletic. Uh, in a perfect world, I wish this would be a two out of three fall match, and I hate two out of three fall matches, but I think this would be good. Um, I want Dash and Dawson to win. Mm -hmm. But these guys have been chasing. They need to get their shot. They need to get the gold. I think it's their time. And uh, I hope Dash and Dawson wind up on Raw or SmackDown in a few weeks after this. First matchup, uh, next matchup, folks, is Austin Aries taking on Nakamura. You know, the latest internet interesting, darling. It's interesting. Interesting watching this character. It is really interesting watching I, that character. I, I mean, just like you. Watch, I don't know what it is. You I watch, like it, but I don't know what it is. It's like if Michael Jackson was a zombie, that would be. Well, isn't he? Yeah, and it just. Whew. I mean, it's Aries and Nakamura, and the, both guys are going to want to go out there, and they're they're going to want to steal the show from these guys, and from them, and they're going to want to, you know. They're going to want to have the best match on the show. And I, I know Austin Aries, and he's going to want to go out there and have an amazing match. And him and Nakamura are going to kill each other. It's going to be, you know, strong style. And I see what you did there. What would I do? Strong style. That's what they say. Well, he's the king of strong style. I know. I yeah. see what you did there. Yeah. It, it, it's it's going to be a fight. This one's tough for you, isn't it? It is. You want to go with the homegrown Milwaukee native, Austin Aries. Well, but it's not so easy. you got to look that he beat Baron Corbin. Uh -huh. At Mania. Uh -huh. Nakamura beat Sami Zayn. I don't remember that. You know, and now both guys have a bunch of steam going in towards this match. If they're smart, nobody wins. It's a draw, double count out, something, and have a rematch. You can't just... On that kind of a match, I, I'd be happy with a draw. What does that tell you? For a guy that doesn't like draws or two out of threes, I'm saying make that a two out of three. Let that one go a time limit draw. You know, just because these no, guys... No, it's NXT. It's okay to think non-traditional. These guys can go. Yeah. And they can. Speaking of going, these girls can also yeah. go, as it will be for the NXT Women's Championship, folks. Asuka will defend against Nia, Nia Jax. Jax. Nia, Nia Jax. Jax is amazing. She is a legit super friend. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. It's a Rock's cousin. She has come back from adversity. Uh-oh, careful. 
Roman Reigns is The Rock's cousin, too. Yeah, but but she doesn't get that kind of heat. I mean, uh-huh. Nia Jax was in a, a, a terrible car accident in, you know, a few years ago. She's now back. She's one of the top women in NXT. Her and Asuka are going to kill each other. Um, but Asuka is the golden goose right now in NXT. And she's going to get the victory over Nia. But it's going to be a one hell of a fight. The main event, folks, will be held within the confines of a steel cage. It will be Samoa Joe defending the NXT Championship against the man he beat for the same championship, Finn Balor. Yeah. And here's what's interesting about it. If it was Samoa Joe against the Demon, I could say, okay, I could see the Demon winning in the cage. Well, it's usually the Demon but at TakeOver events. Samoa Joe against Finn Balor. It's a different dynamic. Samoa Joe is the he's the Samoan submission machine. I haven't seen that aggression in Finn Balor yet. Really? Yeah. As compared to when Samoa he first Joe. came back, I mean, it was it was quite intense. I like Samoa Joe. Drew. Really? Yeah, absolutely. It's because Finn Balor's part of the Nelson family. Well, besides that, and Samoa Joe is a super friend, but I I just think for I just think Samoa Joe needs that cage match victory over Finn Balor. Does he need the 232-day reign or whatever it was that uh, Finn Balor I think, had? I think you should go after it. Why not? You don't like it, do you? Well, I'm a Finn Balor guy, but that, I'm also a Samoa Joe guy. I see that look of disapproval. We've had fun with Samoa Joe in the past. He's a good dude. Let him get his big victory here. He got his big victory at a house show when he took the title from Balor. And, and that's why he should be showcased on a pay-per-view style. All right, folks. Well, uh, the way you see it, David Hero, the way you would book it, rather, is as that's follows. How, that's how I would do it. If it was Gable me. and Jordan winning the uh, Take Team Championship matchup. Austin Aries versus Nakamura ending in a no contest. And the Women's Championship stays with Asuka. And Samoa Joe retains the NXT and, Championship and, and, over Finn Balor. Just for point of clarification, there are other matches, but I've only agreed to do oh, it's these a quick, four. quick hit, if you yeah. will. Uh, it's going to be a good show, regardless, tonight on the WWE Network, NXT TakeOver, The End. Maybe tonight we'll find out what The End means, but I still think it really, re- really references the blow-off match, the final matchup between the champion and the challenger, Balor and Joe. Yes. So be sure to subscribe using that gimmick right over there here on YouTube. No, no, it's in front of it and oh. down under it. Um, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. For that one, this is Damian this Nelson one. saying thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you again on Double D Podcast.